Hi there, this is Minav once again, and what better way to welcome 2017 than with your favorite playlist, the cool new apps? Like always, all the download links will be in the description below, along with all the other application that was not able to make into this video. And with that being said, let's get started. Number one, Gboard. Initially, I was planning to mention Qbot. It is a chatbot application for WhatsApp that can do calculations, show IMDb ratings of movies. It can even fetch news, and yes, of course, they are a Jeff. But soon after Qbot was released, Google also branded their Android keyboard from Google Keyboard to Gboard, and now it does everything that Qbot does, and it does it even better. For instance, there are particularly two features that I would like to point out. One, they have finally added the number row, which you will have to enable from the settings, by the way. And second is the integration of Google Search within the keyboard. which is completely a game changer so if you tap on this google icon you can do pretty nifty stuff like calculations you can look for restaurants and even share their location or find out imdb rating of any movie basically you can do the regular google search without leaving the current application and a small fun fact gboard was released 7 months ago on ios but it's only now that they have come to android what do you think about that number 2 a power mirror Now this one is a complete game changer for me since I'm a blogger I have to take multiple screenshots from my mobile and then transfer it on my computer to edit them later on but with this application I can do that everything on a fly so basically this app lets you cast your android screen on your pc but minal there are many android apps that can do that right so what's make it better than the rest well to start with you cannot just only cast your android screen but you can also control it from your computer even take a screenshot and record videos and wait for it it doesn't require root access unlike airdroid all you have to do is install the a power mirror software on your pc and then connect your phone to your computer via usb cable or wifi yes it also supports wifi and that's it really and now you can control every bit of your android even use the computer keyboard and copy paste stuff back and forth so far the application is free and works well Yes there is a small lag while you are changing the transition and a watermark in the video recording which can be removed from a in app purchases overall for me it has changed the way i use my android and hopefully it works for you as well number 3 trusted contacts now most of you probably will never use this application but since it is bringing something new to the table i have to mention it Now what happen is if you want to track someone location you can easily do that with couple of application but all those falls into a gray area for instance let's take cerebrus although it can tell you the accurate location of the device the person that has cerebrus installed on its phone will have no control on whether they want to share the location or not and trusted contacts being a slightly different approach like other application you also install this one on your device and then specify the emails that you trust now let's say one of your family member has gone out late night and you are worried about their safety so what you can do is send their phone a location request which the other person can reply with text or whatever saying that they are okay but if they do not reply within 5 minutes the app will automatically share their location so the idea here is you will be able to tell whether your partner is safe or not without intruding in their privacy number 4 pixar animation now i'm a huge fan of pixar it is one of my favorite application to edit photos on android and recently they released a new application called pixar animation which surprisingly got 100000 installation in just one week so what the app does is it lets you create animation on your android just create a new project import couple of photos or start with a fresh canvas and then create a new object you can also duplicate the object or start with the different layer and do this all the way Once you are done, you can export it as a video or GIF. Overall, it is one of those software like Photoshop. That is, it will provide you all the tools that you will need, and the rest depends on your skills and creativity. Number five, Quartz. Now, if traditional news app doesn't work for you, then it's time you try out Quartz. And basically, what it does is it brings a fresh perspective on how you consume information in modern days. and it does that by integrating news with instant messaging it's like a conversation but here you are talking to a bot who sends you news and instead of typing you tap between either of the two choices over time quartz will use artificial intelligence to learn about your preference and then give you the personalized news like you want 
Of course, you can also customize whether you want to get notification or not. Overall, the app is taking a bolder step. But given that artificial intelligence and chatbots are going to be the things of future, maybe they are heading to the right direction. Number 6. Adscape now this is not a new application, I just found it on reddit and thought that I should share it with you. Ok so, now personally I don't have any problem with the youtube ads, in fact I make money from them. But other than that, youtube ads are pretty fun to watch. But ads are big no no if I'm listening to my favorite playlist on speaker or something, because then it can become pretty annoying. And what adskip does is, instead of disabling the ads, which also kills the ad revenue that people like us make, it only mutes the advertisement. So the ads play just like that and you won't hear anything. A win-win for both publisher and consumer. And yes, the app doesn't require brute access. Of course, you cannot find this application on Play Store, but I will put a link in the description from where you can get it. Well, this is all for now. There are other Android applications that solves big problem. But since they do not come in any of this category, I am not able to cover them. So let me know if you would like me to make a separate video series on that using the comment section below. And also go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to click on this bell icon if you want to get the notification for all my videos. So that's it for now. This is Munal signing off and like always, thank you for watching.